hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can have this dismissible feature widget in your flutter app so as you can see so let's start with our video okay so now we have our demo app ready so as you can see i have this list view which has this item view which kind of look like a gmail ui so as you can see now we don't have any kind of feature to it it's only our list view so now let's start now once you have this you are ready if you want to have this kind of feature which is dismissible tiles what you can do is you can go ahead and simply wrap a widget called dismissible to your item view okay so now as you can see it's showing us that it's required is a key parameter that is required so for now let's have a key so now i don't have any dynamic list so if you are going to have your dynamic list you can assign your index value to here as a key so but for now i'll simply assign a unique key let's just save our app okay so right now we don't have anything so it has different types of widget functions inside it so let's start so now what we can do is we have a property called background now it takes in a widget for that we'll take a widget of let's say a container and for it we'll give it a color of let's say colors dot red okay so now it has a color of red and for the child what we can do is let's get a row and for the children we'll have a text which says delete okay so now we have this red color to our container for this delete okay so now let's wrap this text in the center let's just save the app so now as you can see we have this red and delete text to our row to look it more properly we'll assign it with a padding let's give it a padding from the left side only only to left let's say we'll give it a padding of 20 so now we have this proper delete looking text if you want you can simply change the style let's give it a style and let's give it a colors dot white okay so now we have this our container we'll simply copy this container and now for the other way around what you can do is you can have a secondary background widget it also takes in a widget now this will have the same widget but we'll simply give it a colors dot green and let's say if you want to use this as read property okay so now we have this green but now as you can see we are not able to see the text it's because it's our row and we'll assign its main access property to end so that we can see our read text so there you go now we will simply change its padding property from live right to 20 okay so now we have this read and delete dismissible child to our item view so now what you can do is we have a function called on dismissed okay so now as you can see it takes in a direction we can check if 
our direction is equal to dismissible direction dot start to end that is this start to end we can have some function to our delete tile okay so as you can see we'll simply use we'll print delete else if what we can check is if our direction is equal to from end to start then we can simply print as read as we have our read text read property to check if this is works let's head over to our debug console so now to our list as you can see let's swipe it from end to start so as you, as you can see we have this read text inside our debug console let's check this again we have again this read now let's try deleting it so now as you can see we have our delete print is printed okay so this is how you can use this dismissible widget inside your app so you can have this feature called dismissible to your list tiles inside your flutter app so hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video